This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar on the basics of editing in Adobe Premiere Pro. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this excerpt, I'll show you how to add, modify, and mask a visual effect. The effects panel is now displayed over here on the right, and the effect controls is over here on the left, which gives me more room to work in creating effects. I'm going to select the clip that I want to apply the effect to, I'm going to search for a particular effect. We'll call it Blur. Now there's actually lots and lots of different blurs inside Premiere, but the one that I'm most interested in is this one called Gaussian Blur. It's the fastest, it's the smoothest, it's the best. If you want something to look soft, Gaussian Blur is your first choice. Simply drag the effect on top of the clip. If you look really, really closely at the program monitor, you're not, <laughs> not going to see a single thing different because most of the effects inside Premiere, by default, are set to zero. They don't have any effect yet. We have to tweak them. So I'm going to twirl up motion. I'm going to twirl up opacity. I'm going to twirl up time remapping because effects are always added inside the effect controls panel after those first three settings. To work on the blurriness, I'll twirl this down and simply drag. And notice as I do, the fish get blurrier and blurrier and blurrier. And that's it. To apply a blur or any effect, you look for the effect inside the effects panel, drag it on top of the clip or clips that you want to apply it to, and then adjust the setting inside effect controls. If you want to disable an effect to look at it before and after, click this FX button. If there's a line through it, the effect is disabled, but it doesn't change the setting. If you want to get rid of an effect, these three you can't get rid of. If you want to get rid of an effect, highlight the name, hit the delete key. If you want to reset an effect, click the hooky arrow. This resets all of the motion settings, or this resets just the position settings, but the hooky arrow is the reset button. There's lots and lots of different effects we can apply. If I take a look at video effects and twirl that down, some of these I've purchased from FX Factory and others, so your list is not going to look the same as mine. But places that are worth playing with are Stylize, that's very cool. Perspective is cool. Distort is cool. Those are three places just to take a look at and, and start to play to change the feeling, the look of your clip. But let's go back to the blur. This has got to be the ugliest fish I've ever seen. I want to blur the fish, but I want it to make it look like I've got depth of field. That means the fish is in focus and the background is out of focus. So I'm going to do that by selecting my clip, applying the Gaussian blur, but now I'm going to click this mask here, a circle mask, and mask the face of the fish. Right there. And we're going to add a little bit of feathering. Open it up just a bit. Just a bit more. There we go. And now that I've applied the mask, I've applied the mask to the Gaussian blur. What the Gaussian blur mask says is only where the mask is should it be blurry. Pull this over here. Look at... Well, that's a disaster. I didn't want to blur the face of the fish. I wanted to blur the background. Oh, no, my life is over. No, wrong. Just click the inverted button. Look at that. Is that cool? All of a sudden, that fish... I'm going to turn off snapping by clicking that magnet. All of a sudden, that fish is in focus, and the background is not. That's just amazing. That gives me such a feeling of 3D that the fish is floating out in front of the monitor and the background is out of focus. Every effect inside Premiere has a mask. You can create an oval mask, a rectangular mask, or as you'll see when we get to chroma key, we can draw our own mask shape. If you want to get rid of a mask, highlight its name, hit the delete key. To add a mask, simply click simply click the shape that you want to apply and grab a corner dot and drag it out until it's the look that you want. To delete a mask, you can highlight it. To reset a setting, click the curved arrow and it resets back to its default setting. And to delete an effect, highlight the name and hit the delete key. 
This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar on the basics of editing inside Adobe Premiere Pro. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 284. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,900 movies, hundreds of hours on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com membership. And thanks.